to damage. An influential business lobby groups called for the proposed high-speed rail project linking London with cities in Northern England to be scrapped. The Institute of Directors, which represents business leaders, has described the £42 billion railway line as a grand folly. The government says the HS2 project is set to generate huge economic benefits. It's the line which is set to bring the north and south of Britain much closer by cutting travel times between London and cities such as Birmingham, Manchester and Leeds. But planning disputes and cost overruns are raising the question, should HS2 be built? One of the UK's key business groups doesn't think so. Our members are great believers in transport infrastructure spending, but we think HS2 is likely to be a grand folly. We'd much prefer to see the same money spent on hundreds, perhaps even a thousand, much smaller projects, rail, road, air, projects that will make a huge difference immediately. The IOD's new stance on the project comes after former Labour grandees Alistair Darling and Lord Mandelson also dropped their support for the plan, which was formally adopted as government policy a year and a half ago. In that time, the resistance to the project has grown in the area along the proposed route, and the estimated cost has soared from 33 to 50 billion pounds, including rolling stock. 800 million pounds has already been spent on preparatory work. The Department for Transport said that HS2 was needed to free up valuable space for passengers and freight because without it, our existing rail network will be full by the mid-2020s at a cost to passengers and businesses up and down the country. And the government's hired Lord Dighton, seen here with Chancellor George Osborne. He successfully delivered the Olympics on time and now he's charged with getting the city behind HS2. That job just got a bit harder today. Joe Lynham, BBC News.